I'm Sabrina Cianelli and I'm an artist from Sutton, Ontario. I work mainly in acrylics and oil paint and I'm inspired by a lot of nature and old buildings, lots of plants, animals, kind of want to really do my interpretation of nature and I do a combination of plein air and also working from photography, some still lifes as well. Um, some things I'll start out plein air and then bring back to my studio and kind of work on it just to finish it up there. Behind me is a picture that I'm working on um, from a series that I'm doing of places around Georgina. So this is actually a field around Catering Road. It's about halfway done. The sky is pretty much finished. But uh, this one here is also from around the same area. And I try to work with a lot of texture. Yeah, just a lot of texture. Not always defining everything perfectly, but just giving like the feeling and the texture of the different plants and the aged wood and um, the, the clouds. I've been having a lot of fun working with clouds and figuring out how they can kind of work. Um, the same with this one here is, an, is another field from a few streets over. And I just, when I see a nice sky, I go out for a walk and I kind of see what pictures I can get. I just want some of these pictures to really just have a mood to them, kind of that you can see yourself there, just kind of in the feeling of what the picture is. A lot of the stuff that I work on, or have been working on lately, is stuff from around here. This one image here is actually a picture that my mom had got in Arizona, and I just really like the feeling and the light of that one. But other than that, almost everything is local art. I have a lot of smaller works because not a lot of people have a lot of room in their homes and that way people can have a piece of art and they can have it in a little corner and it can be just a little mini gallery space in their hallway and a lot of people are living in apartments so I just I love working in the small and hopefully people kind of have some spaces for those. A lot of these images are little moments, um, little, little smaller things in nature like the water lily, it just the single water lily I wanted to just emphasize its shape, just really focus on the petals and just make that the main focal point. And same with this little bird here, just kind of small little instances. This little skull here, I just did him as a little Halloween inspiration. Uh, this one is also another uh, view on Catering Road. I just really loved the, the colors, it was kind of fall was just starting and just the changing, the field, the contrasting with the, the sky and the trees and I just had a lot of fun doing that one, just really showing like getting a feeling, kind of a peaceful uh, country feeling in that one. I really just want to kind of capture pieces of nature that really, you know, kind of speak to me or things I see that I want to capture those little beautiful moments and just kind of share it with everyone. I've been getting into landscapes a lot lately. I used to do a lot of portraiture and I haven't really gone back to that. I, I've just really been inspired by nature. My paintings are really kind of a reflection of things that I see around me and that I want to share with other people. So in addition to my painting and my digital art, I've started doing some beading as well. Um, I have a lot of 
natural stones and wood beads that I work with in addition to charms that are very nature inspired as well. A lot of them are one of a kind and I just, I like to make things, when I feel like making them I get inspired to see the different beads and then I might only make it once. I try and make things magical as well as nature, so suns and moons and trees.